Hi everyone, and welcome to my second video blog. Uh, today I wanted to talk about the Microsoft Assessment and Planning Toolkit. Um, what this is, is it's a consolidation and virtualization helper, where it scans the servers on your network for a period of time and tells you how you could consolidate them. Um, however, that is not where its usefulness ends. So either before, during, after, or if you never plan to do a consolidation, it can still be useful. Um, it, it's very good for giving you high level health checks across your estate. And that's what I want to cover off today. So here I have the page to do the download. You can see they have the getting started guide, a training kit. You're all smart people, so I'm not going to take you through it step by step. The links are on the text part, part of the blog if you need them. So what I want to start with is, here is the tool. I have a pre-prepared one here, of course, because I wouldn't put you through that. Um, but you have two important steps before you can actually get any information. One of them is to perform an inventory. And the second is to collect performance data. Inventory can be quite quick or quite slow, depending on the amount of servers it has to scan. And the performance data, I would generally give it two to three days, if possible. Or if you know for a fact that you have different workloads over the course of a week, then let it run for the week. It's quite non-intrusive, and it's definitely worth getting the complete picture of your servers. But what I want to discuss today is how you can check the health and the performance of your servers, even if you've already virtualized or have no intention of. I'm going to assume that you've gathered your data, and I want to get, show you some reports that this new map tool can kick out. So the ones I care about, and I hope you care about if you're watching this, are your Microsoft SQL Server Discovery and your Performance Metrics reports. As you can see, there's a ton of other ones. You can read through them as you see fit. Uh, I'm not going to run those because I have some prepped already. I'm going to take you over to it. What you get when you run that is these guys. So you get four files. You have your performance metric results, your SQL Server assessments, your database details, and then a pre-packaged proposal. Now I'm going to show you this, but this is kind of, it has some good information in it. Um, it has how many servers, what sort of versions, pie charts, other pretty pictures, but this is the sales pitch portion of the event. You may not get too much use out of it yourself. But it does list your servers, and particularly if you want to look at your licensing exposure, this is handy because it tells you your procs, your number of processors, or your cores, which is what the new SQL 2012 Enterprise licensing has gone to. So it can help to give you a good overview of just how much you're going to have to pay for the privilege. The one I want to show you though is the C server assessment. And why is this useful? Well, from an overall health check, and it is very high level, this isn't proper performance monitoring. However, if you look, it tracks all your SQL Server versions for you. So it tells you it's 2005, that's the service pack level it's at, what edition, etc, etc. Okay, why do you care? Because Microsoft have a product support lifecycle page. And if you scan down here and have a look for your versions, and the link is on the text portion again, it'll tell you if your current patch level is actually supported by Microsoft. So if you have a problem and you need to contact Microsoft for anything, if you're not on a service pack level that they support anymore, they will tell you to go away. Uh, as well as that, there are good performance and bug fixes in all the recent and most up-to-date service packs that are worth applying. So this can help you plan some upgrades or some rolling outages or whatever you may need to do to get everything in line. So that's the first portion, when I say health, that also comes to, will someone help you if it breaks? And that is very important. The other portion that I like is that you have your performance metric summary of all your servers. Now, obviously, this is quite sanitized. Actually, it's completely sanitized. So I don't have 20 servers called test.test.com. Otherwise, I'd have a very, very upset Active Directory manager. But what this can do is it can give you your average CPU utilization over the period of the two or three days or however long you left it, your max CPU, and it goes all the way across memory utilization, IOPS, the whole lot. It's got a whole bunch of information in there. And why I think that is good for a health check perspective is that, for example, you get a call from a user saying, I logged on at one o'clock every day and it's very slow and you get on at 105 and everything is fine. Your CPU utilization is below 10%, no max memory, anything like that. This can help you track the patterns. Now, it doesn't tell you why it's broken, but it will tell you if it is having problems. 
and you can pay more attention to it then. For example, the other video blog I have on PSS Diag, you'll know that that server is trouble, you know roughly what the time frame is, and you just let that run, grab your information, process it, look the hero, all the rest of it. It's great stuff. So there's a lot more information in here and uh, across these files. So like I said, SQL Server Assessment, if you scroll across, it'll tell you where is it going? So machine type, is it a physical, is it a virtual? If you're only learning your estate, this is absolutely invaluable. Even if you know your estate, that's not to say someone hasn't installed something on a desktop or on a dev server or somewhere unbeknownst to you. It is so handy to run even once a quarter, twice a year, whatever, just to find out what sort of condition your estate is in. So that's it, short and sweet. Um, I started to write this one out, but after taking 3,000 screenshots, I thought it might be better to just take a video. Um, as always, any questions, just leave me a message, and any of the links to download or to get instructions are on the text portion of the blog. Talk to you again soon.